Good morning, and thanks for joining us. Look who wandered into our WBZ studios this morning. It's 4th District Congressman Joe Kennedy, who, if you've been in a news blackout for the past month, is considering a run for the U.S. Senate seat, currently occupied by Ed Markey. Congressman, welcome. John, good to see you. Thanks Always for good back. to have you here. Pleasure. Appreciate it. And you didn't just wander in. We invited you some <laughs> time ago, and we're glad you're here. Lost wandering the streets of Storrow Drive. Right. So you're, you've had a while to discuss this, gauge the reaction, think about it. Are you in or out? Uh, uh, working through it. And so look, this is a, it's a big decision. It's a big decision for me, for my family. Uh, there's obviously big personal concerns that I got to work through and, and discuss with my family. There's also, John, the question of if how you're going to be received across the state. And so I've been getting out, talking to people, uh, been encouraged by the reaction, but um, want to take some time to make sure I, I do this right. Is it accurate to say you're leaning toward running? It's accurate to say I'm giving it the concern and, and uh, the, I think, devotion that such a big decision uh, okay. would mean for me, my family, and the voters across the state. Well, you mentioned that the re, uh, you've been gauging reaction, and that reaction uh, has been mixed. Uh, some of it claims that a run by you would be almost entirely based on the fame famous family name and everything that goes with that. A Globe columnist wrote that y you want to ask voters, quote, that famously resident Kennedy question, not what can you do for your country, but rather, do you know who I am, end quote. What's your response to that? Uh, John, no matter what I've done throughout my life, those are, are uh, critiques and criticisms that I've gotten. And the fact is, you shrug your shoulders, and if you jump into this race, if when I jumped into my first race for Congress, I faced those same concerns. I think the vast majority of voters across the 4th District in Massachusetts, whether they support me or not, vote for me or not, would say that's not the way I've, I've run those races, that's not the way I am, that's not the way I've, I've uh, held myself in office. And look, if I yeah, do choose to get into this race, it's the way I would campaign, the way I would uh, approach uh, this race, approach and, and ask for the respect of voters across the state. And the only thing I can do is control how I act, how you respond, and hope that people are going to judge you for that. Anybody that ends up casting a vote in any of the elections, past, present, or future for me, hoping or expecting that you're going to get one of my relatives, you're not. You're going to get me. And it's up to me to go out there and make that case. And if I get in this race, I will. All right. Well, let's find out a little bit more yeah. about who you are and what you believe in. In your initial statement about a possible Senate run, you wrote that, quote, our system has been letting down a lot of people for a long time, and we can't fix it if we don't challenge it, end quote. So do your ideas for fixing the system include include abolishing the Electoral College that can elect the second place vote getter and ending the filibuster rule that's often used to block legislation in the Senate? Yes, <laughs> they do. Uh, and You're so. for Look, both of those. I'm for both of those and I think even more so you also we are at a point now where we got to even take it a step further and look at not just the presidential system, which is the Electoral College, not just our uh, uh, legislative system, which is the filibuster, but also our judicial system. We need to look at uh, term limits for Supreme Court judges so you take the temperature that elevates, is elevated every time there's a confirmation, you take that down. The fact is our system is not working. You, you, you look at our health care system, our immigration system, the fact that our economy is not providing the ability for people to make ends meet, and our political system is supposed to address those and fix them, and they're not. We need to update it, you need to fix it, you need to get to the core of this, and if I get in this race, it's going to be on reform issues like that. Well, let's talk about these in a little more depth. The, uh, the Electoral College system was in part designed to uh, prevent undue influence and control over political power in America by high population areas. So basically California, New York, and Texas aren't always calling the shots that other states uh, matter and you have to campaign there. What about that? I think if you look at the actual history from the Electoral College, it was actually put in place to calcify uh, essentially a racist system and a, and a compromise to perpetuate slavery. When you look at the filibuster that was most used, the, the modern incarnation of it was used most famously to stop civil rights legislation. You've got the whole, the reason why I, I support the reforms that you mentioned are not because I'm concerned about the change, it's that the, that, that would come, it's that the current system at the moment forbids any of this change in the updating of our systems to actually happen. So yeah, you you fix the system, you put your faith in American voters, and you run out on every race with the confidence of, of those ideas and what it's going to mean for our country. Well, with regard to the filibuster, Democrats in the Senate recently used it to stop votes on, on the, the Trump wall and on other immigration issues. Why do you want to discard that break? Because I think when 
the intellectual idea behind the filibuster was that it was supposed to be a moderating force so that you get a deliberative body that acts in the way of the majority of the country. The Senate can't agree that today is Thursday or that it's sunny outside or that the Patriots are the best team in NFL history. Like, they, we can't agree on anything. The fact is, if we can't update that system to respond to the will of the voters, then that system isn't any good to begin with. And we have to, you're going to have to challenge it to make it better. And it, the time is now well past the urgency to, to do so. All right, well, that got my blood boiling, that thing about the Patriots. <laughs> so let's take a break and and when we continue more with congressman joe kennedy in a moment stay with us